Hello, our topic today is Composer Zaharia. Please listen to the speaker of Google. Zaharia's heavy Kember Sega piece was taught to a music student, and if he succeeded, he was told, Okay, you're done. This composition of Zaharia is known as the first work that Didi Effendi had Zakai read. Because in the Turkish classical music period, the heavy kember piece is always the first composition. This composition was read to measure the ability of the person who wanted to learn music. It's a narrative. This narrative, heard in today's Turkish music programs, indicates the importance of Zaharia's composition in the history of Turkish music. Now, who is this Ottoman Greek musician Hanande Zaharia? Hanande means like a soloist musician. Judging by the statements in the studies, there are two Zaharias. The first is a Zaharia who lived in the late 17th and mid 18th centuries, that is, between 1660 to 1740. The second is a Zaharia who was born during the reign of Ahmet III and died during the reign of Selim III that is, lived in 1705 to 1790. Yes, you heard right, according to research. There is a Zaharia who lived in two different times. Now we ask, which of these is real? I am sharing the results of my own research with you. Zaharia was a composer of the Ottoman classical music period, presumably born around 1715. Soloist Buhor Zaid Mustafa Itri died a few years before he was born. The power of his voice and his musical talent were discovered as a child, and he became the sought-after musician of the Fener Greek Church Choir. His voice and ability were compared to Buhor Zaid Itri. When he was younger, he took part in the music assembly of the Ottoman Palace in 1738 as a Hanande composer. According to what the historian in charge of the Ottoman Palace wrote, less than a chapter of his own compositions greater than was made. Thanks to this official document, we know that Zaharia definitely gave a concert in 1738 in the presence of Sultan Mahmud I, D.1754. With him were the musicians Rabbi Tanbury Musi, or Moshe Faro, D. 1770, with the Jewish name, and Chohajazade. Zaharia is not mentioned in Asad Effendi's biography of musicians named Atrib in 1730 written eight years before this event, and in Hassan Sezai's lyrics journal written in 1734. Written four years before, this supports the fact that his name was first known in the history of Ottoman music in 1738. He was approximately 23 years old when he appeared before the Sultan. Coming from a rich family of furriers, Zaharia's entry into the palace increased his prestige. The fact that there is a composition in a lyric journal written after 1750 and that the words of this composition belong to the poet Mehmed Ragip Pasha, D.1763, are evidence for the dating of both the journal and his composition. The composition in the narration at the beginning of the topic is this composition by Zaharia. It has been determined also that there are compositions by Zaharia in another lyric journal dated 1751. Since the music council of the palace was dissolved during the reign of Sultan Osman III in 1754 to 1757, the reign, Zaharia may have continued to work in the Mevlevahanes.
During the reign of Sultan Mustafa III, in the reign between 1757 to 1774, there are four compositions by Zaharia in the lyrics book of Hekambashi written in 1767. This may indicate that Zaharia's relationship with the palace continued well and he was alive. Zaharia composed the poems of Faisal Effendi, D.1767. An Anatolian Kazasker in 1763 and famous for his pen name Nafiz, and Rumelia Kazasker, D.1767, on the same dates. The fact that Zaharia's compositions are also found in a lyrics collection containing the compositions of Sultan Mustafa shows that he was present in the musical assemblies of the palace. According to the information given by some Greek music historians, Zaharia taught secular music to Daniel Protosaltus, D.1789, who lived at the same time as him. Daniel, Fenner Greek Patriarchate started its service in 1741. When Daniel Protosaltus became head Mugani in the Fenner Greek Patriarchate Church of Istanbul in the 1760s, Hymns composed by Zaharia began to be sung in the church. The hymns at the end of the meeting, called less than Caliphonicus Ermus greater than, expressing that the ritual was over and they could disperse. Especially to the people attending the mass, were Zaharia's compositions. The acceptance of his compositions by the church was a result of his friendship with the church pastor Daniel and his help to the church. Papadopoulos stated that he wrote the notes of his compositions with his own hand, with the Greek church music writing of the classical music period. This information shows that Zaharia learned the script of church music. Music historian Papadopoulos states that Zaharia was alive in the 1770s. There are some lyric books that witnessed the music assemblies during the reign of Sultan Abdul Hamid I, the reign, 1774 to 1789. One of them belongs to Hafiz Abdul Baki, a member of the Mevlevahane. It is understood that he did not visit the Mevlevahanes anymore, but he was still alive, since he was mentioned as less than Kirksu greater than in only five of his compositions in his lyric book dated 1774. Another lyric book in Berlin Orient Library is the lyric book belonging to the palace official Ismail Aga, D.1800. His lyrics collection, which was compiled in the 1780s, contains about 10 compositions by the rabbi with whom he gave concerts and Zaharia Kirksu. This historical record shows that Zaharia, who was about 65 years old at that time, continued to work as a furrier with the church protosaltus and was one of the sought-after musicians and composers of the musical assemblies of the palace. After the reign of Selim III, 1789-1808, Zaharia no longer attends the musical assemblies of the palace, probably due to his old age. According to the information given by Kyrikos Philosenus of Ephesus, one of the historians of Ottoman church music, Zaharia wrote music book notes around 1790 in Music Alexian. Zaharia wrote secular and religious musical notes in ancient church script. These book notes became the source for a musical piece called Efterpi, Uterpi. Zaharia's book notes were translated into the new church music score, invented by Mugani Hermusios Hartafalox by Theodore from Foka and Stavraki from Istanbul. Efterpi book developed with new editions, was published in Istanbul Galata, 1830. Zaharia may have died shortly after 1790. The fact that Hanifezade Ahmed Tahir Bey included Zaharia in the list of composers supports the time of Selim III, when Zaharia lived.
How many musical works does Zaharia have? His compositions are of two groups, religious and non-religious. It is stated that the notes of most of the eleven church music religious compositions are available in the Greek National Library. Twenty-one of Zaharia's secular compositions are listed. The Greek artist Kyriakos Kalaitzidis made a CD of his compositions and released the company Kalin in Istanbul. Composer Zaharia has an important place in the history of world and Middle Eastern music as one of the representatives of the culture of common living in the Ottoman Empire. Ahmet Avni Konik gave a picture representing Zaharia as an appendix to his lyric book named Hanande in 1900. In summary, it is understood that Zaharia was born in the 1715s, died in the 1790s, and was a composer of the 18th century Turkish classical music period. These conclusions about Zaharia's life emerge from the material I have. Undoubtedly, there are many unknown aspects of Zaharia in terms of how he used the opportunities provided by the Ottoman state to the fur trade, his family, close friends and relations with Europeans. You can write statements that will contribute to Zaharia's life in the comments section below. Müzik tarihinin bir başka videosunda buluşmak üzere. Hoşça kalın.